Highlight the complementary group. Command D to duplicate it. Call it analogous and close it up and turn off the complementary group. Inside this new group, take the top arrow layer and duplicate it. For its rotation Z parameter, change it to 60. For the middle arrow, change its rotation Z to minus 60. Again, use the rotation Z parameter of the rotations group to move the arrows around. I won't go into detail, but for educational purposes, you may be interested in this bit of trivia. There's 360 degrees to a circle even in the color wheel. There's three primary colors. Each color is separated by 360 divided by three, which is 120 degrees. Thus, starting at zero degrees, which is top dead center, and should be pure red, 100 degrees to either direction, plus or minus, will take you to one or the other primary colors. This simple math plays out in all of this scientific color frequency and human brain interpretation we're talking about here. Okay, back to our current educational project. This tool shows analogous colors. Of the three, one will be the predominant color that would be the main focus of your scene. The other two you'd use as complementary contrasts or as background colors. If you're working with predominantly white or black scenes, you'd want to use this color scheme. So if I had a clip in which blue was the dominant color, I could make a text overlay with graphics that were magenta and cyan, or cyan and green, or magenta and red. I'd pick which of these three combinations worked best for my situation. Again, a tool that can make deciding on color schemes super fast and easy. So let's reset our rotation back to zero degrees.